Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring a gravel cleaner. Um, this is perfect for those small little aquariums, and you know, it's hard to, if especially if you have a, a larger, more than nine pounds of, of, of weight that you need to carry from A to B, it's a little difficult sometimes. So in fact, I like to bring my tools into the aquarium instead of the aquarium to the actual uh, sink, because it's a little difficult. You know, you don't want to kill any of, the, of your fishes or anything like that. This is a great option to have if you have a uh, one of those uh, aquariums that's maybe nine gallons or less or even higher than that. You could even run this through uh, any source of uh, any kind of gallons. I mean, this one expands pretty large. So, and I bought this one because I do have three types of gallons of that of, of aquariums that we're gonna test it on. But we're just gonna test it on one today. But this is gonna work for all three of them because it does have an expansion for it. So we're gonna take a look at it and see how it works, all right? In the pipes, these pipes are, you know, flimsy. I don't think they're strong enough, but they're a little, they're not flexible, they're just stiff, all right? So put that in here, put the other one in here. Then the, the gun that you're gonna to require to actually suck to all the fish food, old fish food, old fish um, um, poop and everything else that you have to include. I mean, it's not bad, I mean, we're gonna, take a look at it and then you get this little accessory bag in here cheesy little tie down you know but hopefully everything's included all right now you got to stretch this part out of course and they give you the scraper and all that stuff you know in case you're gonna suck um some of the bottom part and some of the actual um um glass part of it too so you could be pumping it up at the same time sucking it in and then um sucking all the water in and then making some room of course there's some um, little ventilations here and there but you know to in order to get make sure there's no air trap in there um they give you different types of course they give you this one and this one and then they give you the rest of the stuff and of course this is a pincher and this is going to be to uh, control the water flow because as soon as you start pr um, doing pressure and, and sucking up the, all the water um if you go too fast the water holes might pop out or anything else or it's going to fill up real quick uh, you want to make sure you control that, or and this is one way they do it. And this actually hangs up in there, if you guys can see it. And it goes all the way through in the bottom. And this is pretty much just to control the water flow, right? Um, it's necessary because um, if you start pumping without this, uh, it might splash everywhere. You might make a mess. Eh, the water holes might pop out, especially if you have an environment that you have hardwood floor or carpet. You don't want this to be everywhere. So you want to make sure what I would do, I would test it out. If, I, if, if you have the time, I would test it out first to make sure it's compatible for what you're going to use it for, for cleaning the uh, aquariums, right? So that's pretty much what this is for. I'm just explaining to you guys how the system works. Now, this is pretty simple. So if you guys can see it, um, you first, this is the longest, not the, this is the shortest that you're going to be able to um suck in some of the uh, the aquarium bottom um uh, the the particles all right so um these two particular are to expand the actual tube so if you want to expand it to a larger aquarium that's what these are for and they pretty much marry the two pipes together and you could go up to a couple feet if you guys could see that from end to end it's about we're looking at 38 inches long and this is uh, three feet and two inches. That's pretty much how long you could expand. So if you have one of the large aquariums, this will be perfect. It expands all the way over there. Uh, of course, these are necessary. Um, what I would do if you have something permanent, you're gonna keep it there. Maybe taping these up at the end too. I mean, if you want to keep something permanent, but because you have a small aquarium, those are not going to be necessary just this part is going to be necessary required if you have a small aquarium of course if this is too large for your aquarium you can always cut this down now to cutting it down you got to be careful because this is a, a a pretty solid piece of plastic all right so and it's stiff all right it might crack if you do it uh, the wrong way so maybe you want to get a machine to properly cut it uh or a blade this is pretty much it sucks in all the air here when you when you squeeze it it sucks in all the air so it, you got to make sure you make sure you relieve some of the actual air bubbles um after you do that you don't really have to um keep clicking this because it automatically drain out all the particles and everything and then this is see-through so make sure you don't capture any of the fishes or something or any of the small little guppies that you have or shrimp so it's always a visual aid to to for those that need to know what's going into your actually dirty water so with the little hook here like i said i took all my plants out because i'm gonna have to clean the basically so 
So we're going to put this down a little bit down to the water here. All right. And this is the pump thing. It's directly going in there. It's going to feed it. If you guys can see, it's going to feed it. I'm going to clean it. I took all the plants out right now, temporary, so I can clean them up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Take all the plants out. All the way to the bottom. feeding it look at all that look at all that this thing cleans it up look at all that dirt I'm not even doing anything. I put some more water in there. Oh, I got my little fishes. Look how dirty. <laughs> that's me having cleaned that. I took out all the plants right now, but because I have soil too, that's what's picking up. So you basically just pump it a couple times and it starts bringing all the, the sun from the ground. Look at this. It's all dark. <laughs> cleaning the water now so one more round 